Hi guys, I hope you're having a good Saturday. Oh, I'm going to read to you a couple of scriptures. I also did the same message on podcast if you, it's a Podbelly app, if you would rather listen to it on the um, Podbelly app. And I was reminded before I started here um, that a Savior was born in Bethlehem, baby Jesus. And I'm going to start in Luke chapter 2 today, and I just pray that the Holy Spirit would speak to me to help you and guide you and direct me in my words. And let your light and glory and your presence flow through each and every heart today. In Jesus' holy name, the anchor in the storm. I'm going to start out in Luke chapter 2. That night there was a shepherd staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them, don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes. The Messiah of the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in stripes of clothes, lying in a, man man in a manger. I'm going to read you a commentary on it. The greatest event in history had just happened. The Messiah had been born for ages. The Jews had waited for this. And when it finally occurred, the announcement came to humble shepherds. The good news is that Jesus comes to all, including the plain and the ordinary. He comes to anyone who, with a heart humble enough to accept him. Whoever you are, whatever you do, you can have Jesus in your life today. Don't think you need extraordinary qualifications. He accepts you just as you are. I think it's cool. It says, including the plain and ordinary person. He accepts anyone. Some of the Jews were waiting for a Savior to deliver them from Roman rule. Others hoped the Christ Messiah would deliver them from physical ailments. But Jesus was healing their illnesses and establishing, establishing spiritual kingdom. Delivered them from sin. He outstripped all their expectations. People often set their own agenda for Jesus and this accept too little from him. His work is more far-reached than anyone can imagine. He has paid the price for sin and opened the way to peace with God. He offers for us more than temporary political or physical changes. He offers us new hearts which will be ours in eternity. Do you have a relationship with Jesus Christ today? All right, two. I'm trying to find my bookmark. There we go. I'm going to read um, a passage in Psalms chapter 113, starting with verse 4. For the Lord is high above the nations, his glory is higher than the heavens. Who can be compared with the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, enthroned on high? He stoops to look down on heaven and on earth. He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. He sets them among princes, even the princes of his own people. He gives the childless woman a family, making her happy a happy mother. The word faith just came to me for somebody. The commentary on this says, In God's eyes, a person's value has no relationship to his or her wealth or position on the social ladder. Many people who have excelled in God's work began, began in poverty or humble beginnings. God supersedes the social orders of the world, often choosing his future leaders and ambassadors from among so, social outcasts. Do you treat un, the unwanted in society as though they have value? Do you see them as God does? Demonstrate your actions that all people are valuable and useful in God's eyes. Treat each other with love. Remember, your value has no relation to your money, your wealth, or your social 
your or your social how you're placed on the social ladder. The psalm writer emphasizes the glory and transcendence of God in this psalm. But in conclusion, he shows how the heights of God's glory and wonder are matched by his comparison for those who have been laid low by life circumstances. Have you ever been laid low by life circumstances? Here the writer draws particular attention to two kinds of people that God particularly cares for, the poor and the childless. The ancient world gave special honor to the wealthy and those who had many children, especially sons. Our own culture today tends to ignore and disparage the poor and those unable to have children. We learn here that God honors and fulfills the desires of the world forgets the most. Ultimately, this promise will be fulfilled in the new heaven and new earth when Jesus will restore all the creation and provide from our, for our needs. But what about today? How can we better love those who are suffering in the ways in our community? I'm sorry, but what about today? How can we better love those who are suffering in these ways? in our communities and churches? How can you help people today? In what way is God calling you to give and serve today? To be generous. Offer hospitality. When God gave the law at Mount Sinai, the mountain trembled in his God's presence. The tremble of God's presence means to recognize God's complete power and authority and our frailty by comparison. Isn't that awesome? I'm going to read you a couple of scriptures in Matthew chapter 7, 12. Here's a simple rule of thumb to guide for behavior. Ask yourself what people do, what, I'm sorry, here's a simple rule of thumb guide for behavior. Ask yourself what you want people to do for you, then grab the initiative and do it for them. Add up God's law and prophets, and this is what you get. What can you do for someone else today? Can you buy them coffee, offer them lunch, smile, help those in need today, uplift them? The smallest things can make a difference in someone's life today. Be a caregiver. Unplug the television. Enjoy the sunsets and sunrises with your family. Cherish each and every moment that you have together. Isaiah 41.10, do not be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Don't be afraid today. Don't let your emotions and feelings take control. God is there holding you up with his victorious right hand today. Jeremiah 29.11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for a good and not for disaster. To give you hope and a future and a hope today. And those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. And I will be found by you. I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes today. Isn't that awesome? He says, I will gather you out of the nations where I sent you and bring you home again to your own land. Be the salt and the light. Don't hide your light today. Matthew chapter 5 says, Let the light be a sh shine for everyone in your house to see. For His glory. Don't hide that little light that's inside of you. Jesus told him, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. That's in John chapter 14, 6. Do you have a relationship with Jesus today? Romans chapter 3, 25, for God presented Jesus as a sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. The sacrifice shows that God was being fair when he held back and did not punish those who sinned in times past. It was in 1 Peter chapter 1, 19 through 25, it was the precious blood of Christ, the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. God chose him 
as your ransom long before the world began. But now in these last days he has been revealed for your sake. Through Christ you have come to trust in God, and you have placed your faith and hope in God. You placed your faith and hope in God. Because he raised Christ from the dead and gave great glory, and gave him great glory. You were cleansed from your sins, and when you obeyed the truth, so now you must show sincere love to each uh, e you must show sincere love to each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. Show love to your brothers and sisters in Christ today. Love each other deeply with your whole heart, for you have been born again, but not to a life that will quickly end. You have a new life which will last forever because it comes with the eternal living word of God. People are like grass. Their beauty is like a flower in the field. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of the Lord remains forever today. And in Romans chapter 8, it says, What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Who then will condemn us? No one, for Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love today? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity, hungry or in danger or threatened with death? No. Despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ, who loved us. And I'm convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, nor neither our fears for today, nor our worries are about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us, separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever separate us from the love he has for you today. Even when you walk through the darkest valley, his rod and staff is going to protect you today in Jesus' holy name. He's the anchor in your storm. Nothing but the blood lyrics. What can wash away my sin? What can make me whole again? What can cleanse me from within? Nothing but the blood. Oh, precious is the flow that makes the, me white as snow. No other fawn I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Isn't that awesome? His blood is going to cleanse you today. Proverbs chapter 3, my child, don't lose sight of common sense or discernment. Hang on to it. For they will refresh your soul. They were like are like jewels on a necklace. They will keep you safe and on your way, and your feet will not stumble. And you can go to bed without fear and lie down and sleep soundly. Discernment from the Holy Spirit. Let God listen to God. Speak. Let him listen. Listen and pray. But more importantly is to listen to the Holy Spirit. For discernment. Ask him for directions. Better is one day in his presence than a thousand of this world. Seek his presence daily. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine today for all to see. Go help others. Be kind, generous, loving. And in Psalms 18, it mentions, You light a lamp for me, the Lord. My God lights up my darkness. He's going to light up your darkness today. And he just spoke to me, in your dwelling place, he's going to light up the darkness. In your prayer time, time you seek him. God's ways is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He's a shield for all who look for him for protection. For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock? God's arm arms me with strength and he makes me my way perfect. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer enabling me to stand on a mountain heights. He trains my hands for battle. He strengthens my arms to draw a bronze bow. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand supports me. Your help has made me great. You have made a, made a wide path for my feet. 
Remember today, God will never leave you nor forsake you. The eyes of the Lord watches over those who do right. His ears are open to the cries for help. But the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. He will erase their memory, their memory from the earth. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them. He's close to the brokenhearted in Jesus' name. In Jesus' holy name, I pray for you today. Be kind and gentle with your words today. Offer someone a drink. Pay for their lunch. If someone needs help with their yard, I mean, just be generous and let your light shine. My uh, title was called Guiding Light That No Man Can Put Out. Let that little, little light of mine, let it shine today for all to see for his glory. I love you guys today. Have a blessed and awesome and amazing Saturday. Love you.